Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Gadget Show Web TV. As you'll be able to tell by the distinctive piece of ironwork behind me, this week we're in Paris. We've been invited here by Orange, the telephone company, who are determined to show off some of their latest technology, including 3D TV without the aid of glasses. Should be fun. Now, as you may know, Orange are part of the French state-owned telephone firm France Telecom, and our first stop was their new techno centre. They're trying to change from an old engineering-based culture to a new, exciting, creative one. Hence the bright new open-plan offices where you're encouraged to write on the walls to express yourself. Though there are some pretty impressive hard figures behind all this fluffiness. Orange hoped to have 200,000 people on 100 megabit internet connections by 2008. And apparently their market research suggests that their customers really do want to use that for high-definition TV, for swapping large video files and for 3D gaming. This, of course, is all in France, and Orange were determined to show that 100 megabits means two HD movies, audio streaming and software downloads all at once, with no limits and for a mere 35 quid a month. And, at the moment, their French customers can do things like go on high-definition tours around hidden parts of Versailles using a remote-controlled robot. Hmm. There's something to stop me running into the patients. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> we made a programmation for that because we knew that people would try it. <laughs> <laughs> Mercifully, the artistic treasures of France survived unscathed, but I wanted to see the 3D telly. To prove they can get 3D pictures down their connections, they were showing off this prototype 3D TV from Philips. It uses prisms embedded in the screen to achieve a 3D effect. I found it genuinely very impressive. If anything, it's actually rather too powerful. After a while, I think you'd get dizzy with it. You'll have to take my word for it, but those petals and butterflies really are jumping out of the screen. Orange think the biggest 3D market initially is likely to be user-generated content on mobile devices, hence this early prototype camera. Hmm, well I seem to have managed to take a 3D picture of myself, the first one ever, and uh, I look even more frightening in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> then it was back on the road to another Parisian suburb, where Orange have set up one of their new Jardin d'Innovation, or Innovation Gardens. Actually, I'd seen most of their featured innovations before. Things like internet security systems and Wi-Fi rabbits, iPod clothes and internet radios. But there were some surprises. Including a rather innovative um, video conferencing system that's currently designed for business, but which they reckon can be adapted for home use. With its surround sound and high-def screens, this is the best video conferencing system I've experienced, and it really could bring far-flung friends and families closer together. You only see the, uh, the, the, the Orange customers in France, then, seem to have some pretty impressive broadband technology available. Alas, I think it's going to be some time before that same technology makes it over the channel to their broadband customers in the UK.